Okay, so in this video, I am going to talk you through how to set up a social media and lead generation, email lead generation campaign out of Coconetic. Now, we've gone to the campaigns area, and don't worry about my screen because I will see a lot of stuff that you may not see, but don't worry. We go into edit one of the campaigns, whichever campaign it is that you have decided you want to run, and it's worth noting that you can actually have excuse me, multiple campaigns running at the same time. So obviously we have a frequency setting down here. So you can change this frequency setting. And at the moment, my, my IT guys are actually adding some extra stuff in here so that you can be a bit more flexible about these, about these settings, because at the moment they're quite fixed. But, um, and that was really just to keep it simple and keep it straightforward. So you can, as I say, you can have multiple campaigns running at the same time. So you could, for example, have an, one going once a week um, and maybe another main campaign going sort of three times a week or every day. And so this is how you would set one up. Let me just explain very briefly what these tabs mean. So if so, the setup tab is obviously where you do all of the sort of primary setup. The, the place to start is under the campaign media, which is where all the social media is. But let me just talk you through the other tabs first. The leads tab, this is where your leads will come into. So anyone who signs up to your campaign, so if they click on their, the social media post that goes out to your social networks, they decide that they want the resources that are mentioned in that social media post, they click on the link, it takes them to the email lead collection form, and I've explained all of this in a previous video. It, it takes them to that lead collection form, they fill out the details, and then they are delivered to a page where they can download all their resources. And this is where the lead will come into. And if you are integrated with MailChimp, and again, I cover that in some other videos, then these leads will also automatically go over to MailChimp too, as long as you are connected to MailChimp under the integrations area. As I say, separate email about that, separate video. Uh, the email autoresponder you will all see. Depend, it doesn't matter which subscription you're on. If it's a, if it's the social media subscription or the full site subscription, you will all see all see this tab. This is a sort of token gesture, really. To be honest, I am not a bespoke, um, fully fledged email marketing system. I don't get the kind of deliverability that proper custom built, purpose built email marketing systems do. So this email does often unfortunately fall into spam <clears throat> without a major amount of investment. There's not a lot I can do about that at this point. However, what you can do, there's nothing lost by activating this email. Basically, this email is intended to be an immediate follow-up. So as soon as they've been delivered to their resources, their email details have come into your leads tab. They would. This email would be triggered, and I've pre-written it for you. You do have to activate it, and I will do a separate video on that. But it is just supposed to be a follow-up um, contact, really, with your with your customer, because obviously at this point all they've done is is ask to download some more resources, and they get taken to those resources anyway. So this is really just a sort of courtesy extra follow-up. What I suggest you really do is that you set this up as an autoresponder in a proper email marketing system like, for example, MailChimp and other videos on that. This tab of the content here you will only see if you are a full site subscriber and I will cover that in more detail under the full site subscription content. So those are the four tabs that you will see, everybody will see. So let's knit back to the setup tab. The first place really you want to go is your campaign media, and this is where you want to activate your social media. So this is all the pre-written social media that I have created on your behalf. So we've got all sorts of stuff in here. There will be videos, there's infographics, there's animations, and a lot of them obviously refer to the resources that people can download if they're interested in finding out more about whatever this campaign is on. This one is about posture, and we've got hundred well, 30 or 40 other campaigns on different topics. So um, this, this is all the social media. It's all preloaded. There's some animations in there. And depending on which subscription you've got will depend on which level, whether you've got the premium social media, the social media and lead generation, smaller subscription doesn't have quite as much content. The full site subscription has a bit more um, just in respect of the value of that subscription. So what you do is you have a little active tick box here. Um, it loads in the order that it's appearing here. So this post will go out first, 
then the post underneath it will go out next, assuming all these tick boxes are active, and so on. And it will work its way through at the frequency that you set in the Setup tab. So the, your first mission really is to go through and deactivate any posts. Sorry, there's a dog squeaking somewhere. Deactivate any posts that you don't want to run. Just if you if you don't want it to go out, you would just untick that active tick, and it won't go. So that's the main thing. The next thing, unfortunately, Facebook stop us from pre-populating text in a post. So all I, the best I can do is to give you suggested text, as I have done here, and you have to paste it in these two boxes manually. I know that's a bit of a pain, um, but there's nothing we can do about that because Facebook won't approve the app if we pre-populate that for you. So you just need to go along, you'll see a little copy button here that will sort of select all the text and then you go and paste that text into whichever social networks you want to post to. Now this lead collection URL is important. You need to leave this in exactly as it is. Basically that is the link that people will go to where they would fill out their email details in order to obtain these resources that you're offering them. So you need to leave that in as it is. You don't need to go and get the URL in here, it's effectively that will be merged into that into that merge tag. That's a merge, this is a merge tag. So that URL will be merged in there automatically. Please do not go and get the, the, this URL and try pasting it into your text here because that is very likely to disrupt the process. So you need to leave that in. If for any reason you don't want it to link back to the email collection form, it will probably mean that you need to edit the text in the post, which you can do completely, as you can see here. It's all, it's all completely editable. Um, if you, for any reason, do not want them to go to that email lead collection form, you can disable that URL by clicking on there. So if you disable that, that will remove that merge tag when it is sent to Facebook. But just be aware that you may need to edit what's in this text if that is the case because obviously we've said here we've produced a set of leaflets helping you blah 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 and if there's no link for them to go to then it's not going to make very much sense so just make sure that you're going to edit that if that is the case and that is how you disable that, that link being included in the social media post that is sent to your social networks so that is basically how you do it and you need to go all the way through copying and pasting those texts into whichever boxes you want to do and deactivating any that you don't want to run and then click update and any update button will, will save everything across all of the posts but I would suggest you do that fairly regularly just so that nothing happens and you don't get interrupted halfway through the process and you'll see that you've now got that text saved in there. And when you're ready and you've gone through all the social media and you've decided what you want to um, post and you've deactivated anything you don't want to, you go back to this setup tab and then you have only four decisions I think to make in here. You decide which social networks you want to post to and you just toggle that on. If you don't want to post to Twitter you can just toggle that off. Even if you're still integrated with Twitter, if this is off then it won't post to Twitter so you just need to make sure that they are on or off depending on what you want to be sent where. You can then change the default, so that's the frequency that the posts are sent out to your social networks and it applies the same rule to all the social networks. So if you decide you want to do three per week, it will do the same to Facebook and the same to Twitter, assuming you've got both of those turned on. Um, I set a default for you, which is usually one per day. If you've watched my previous video in the previous day's onboarding, then you will know that Facebook don't show, reveal very many posts in your followers' organic social media feeds, so you don't need to worry about bombarding people. And I have an article which I will put in this help post with this video that just explains more about that. So let's, let's go back. We've activated the social networks that we want to. We've set the frequency that we want to. I want to stay at one per day. And then all we need to do is set the start and end date. Now, the best way of doing that is to work out how many pieces of media you've got active in there. So say we had 30 pieces of media that we had active in that campaign media, and we decided we wanted to post it once per day, we would need to make this separation 30 days effectively. If you decide you want to post it three times a day, then and it's 30 posts, then obviously we only need 10 days.
The other point I should make here is always make sure that this campaign date is starts from tomorrow or more in the future. So do not set it for today, because if you do, for example, one per day, you'll see it would go out at 7 a.m. We're already past 7 a.m. effectively when we're setting this up, so it won't trigger today. So always make sure that that is set either tomorrow or further in the future. And obviously make sure that campaign end date is the right number of days after the start date. Because if any of those things aren't correct, it will not post your campaign. Once you are happy, let me just um, let me just put this in the future. Where are we? Come on to 9th and then, I don't know, let's just say for argument's sake, we're going to set it to, I don't know, the end of April. And all you need to do then is you just click update. All those settings will be saved and that will start posting. So quick recap, you've got those two toggles or any other social networks. We may be adding a couple more soon. You've got the frequency set correctly. I want to do one per day. I've counted how many posts I've got and I've set the days ahead to be the right period of time and I've clicked update and all of those posts will now be scheduled and you don't have to do anything. All you need to do is to keep an eye on your Facebook token and I send you emails about that because sometimes the Facebook token expires. So when you integrate with Facebook, it gives you 90 days as a sort of token permission and this is following on from the, all the drama that we had with them being hacked so they're quite careful they give you 90 days on that token and when that token runs out you have to go and refresh your Facebook uh, login just by going and disconnecting and reconnecting here again so I always suggest if you've only got one campaign running at a time that you just do that as standard before a campaign but obviously if you've got other campaigns already set up and running then you don't really want to do that unless you need to and as I say I send you other emails as, uh, as your um, token starts to get down towards I think about 10 days just to alert you to the fact that you need to go and change that. That is basically how you set up a campaign, nice and simple.